Another lockpick. Hmm. I'm gonna give it to him. Asking additional health point. He's meant to be like the tanky one, so it was his to begin with. Snitch. Got a nasty little secret. Yeah, this is definitely time for us to GTFO. people will die. I was trying to do this to kind of heal me. Mm. Fast walked straight up to Gribbon and punched him square in the gut. The toad slumped to the ground, winded. That's one way to do it. I find that in life we can punch most of our problems away. Yes, well, anyway, shall we get moving? Okay, we got the raft. Be lucky if, if it survives half the journey. We can patch it on uh, the way if we need to. I call front seat. Do I have to get oh, back uh, to the river? Sorry. Some rabid beasts here to see. No, region completed. Okay, okay. I was about to say. Jesus. Uh, we're low on... No, we're all right on cards, but mostly it's health that worries me. Survivors flee the city. Volpan boards a rickety old raft for the journey up to the capital. Hopefully, we'll make it without falling apart. It, it's gonna fall apart, let's be real. Long way to Capybara, uh, Capybara down the uh, Rust River. The raft was less than more, um, yeah, was less than comfortable, but thankfully the water was calm for the moment. Up ahead, Volpan could hear cries from survivors as they fought their way through the forest. Okay, I'd rather deal with bandits. If I get a choice. Sounds like there's trouble in the forest. All those people fleeing the city. Are the easy pickings for bandits infected? Who knows what else? Those survivors won't be survivors much longer if we don't help them. We'll try. We should make sure we have the supplies by our journey before we set off. That's an idea I can get behind. Found six foods to do. Okay, we're down to two. The first rest would require me to have uh, Volpan, food as well. Uh, some rabid beasts here to see. Mm. Oh, that would heal us by three health. Ooh, that'd be great. Um. And to get full food. I mean, that can do it to begin with. That would mean we would be ready. For a while. All right, we have enough supplies for our journey. Finally, a good meal. Uh, we should take a moment to eat before we sail off down the river. Let's load up the raft and get ready to go. Yeah, I don't actually want to eat yet. Damn, that gave me just another full food. Perfect. Now I want to eat and rest. What's up, bro? There's a healing bomb. Eat up. Get some of that health back as well. I was just Boom. <laughs> Resting my eyes. Excellent. Um... There we go. I'll come help. Oh my. Okay. I can take the one damage. 
I know it's one for everybody, but we just healed up. Oh, hi there. Glad to meet you again. Trust your uh, high-quality lumber was suitable for all your building needs. Uh, why is this guy not running for his life? Indeed it was. Glad to hear it. Be sure to tell your friends. Well, most of them are on the boat with me, but sure. <laughs> so what brings them um, to this part of the woods? We're trying to get them to Capybara down the uh, rest. Ah, crawling with bandits down that way. I'd go by foot if I were you. What? What about the infected? What? You didn't hear the plague ravaging uh, Eisenberg? A rabid beast attacks? Everyone's fleeing the city. Oh, I suppose I should get moving then, should I? <laughs> well, yes. That'd probably be the, for the best. Appreciate the heads up, lads. Perhaps uh, I'll see you in Capybara. The bandits on the river, all the infected in the forest. I'd rather deal with bandits. Sounds like we're on the horns of a dilemma here. We're on the horns of something else if we don't get moving. Gloomy Lumberjack. Oh my god, I love that card. I just want to see him. Yeah, what is it? What's up, bud? I've seen the Gloomy Lumberjack. Come with me? What are you trying to do? Threaten me or some into joining you? Eh, got nowhere better to be. Lead the way. All right. Hmm. Get a hunter. Get famous to get some gold. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, five food. I use the lock picks. No, let's try that, yeah. I mean really. Who needs keys? Yeah, who needs keys? Boom. Mmm. Super close. That must be the survivors. Uh the shout yeah, the shouts were coming from. Those heartless bandits, they're harassing those poor survivors. Can let them push these poor folk around? Ah, bandits. 14? Oh. Okay, we can get rid of the big boy, we can get rid of him. Actually, if we got rid of him, he'll give us a firebomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's seven. We can get it down to a three. That's why I like in the restaurant. Probably use some fame to get rid of some others. Uh, just need to get rid of one more. Six fame. Nil bugger off. Do it. Oh, they must be fans of yours. But we'll get three fame back, so. Oh, you gave... Then we got four fame back. What? Okay, sure. The last of the band is dealt with. The survivors fell to their knees, relieved. Thank you so much for the help. Good to stand by while those thugs took advantage of you. Well, will you be safe on the road ahead? Hard to say. We've been robbed of nearly everything we had. But at least uh, there are still folks like you who are willing to stand up for us. Full group, uh... Collected what was left of their belongings and prepared to continue their journey. Can we do something to help them to get back on their feet? Some food? I mean, I can give them food! Yeah, make all the difference. Uh, that still leaves me enough, so yeah. Thank you, you saved us. We won't forget your generosity. Hit on a fame. Past watch as I was walking from the distance, and just for a second, Volpaint thought he saw the big ape's eye well up with pride. Probably the best not to mention that to cast, though. Oh, we got another health point! Well, I wish I'd known that before I gave him one earlier. Oh well. Hmm. Okay. 
fucking firebomb the <laughs> Why would I do that? That's so excessive. Um Yeah, let's just let's just go. Let's just leave. Bullpen and his friends took a moment to eat before they continued down the journey on their journey. Nope. It wasn't for Eisenberg burning down the plague uh people streaming through the forest. This would be a pretty nice picnic. Any bubs, cool. And we got health back. Nice. The raft bobbed slowly down the river. Bolpan kept his eyes trained on the shore for possible threats. The fact that it's healing us beforehand just lets you know that we're gonna get buggered. Um just how it is. Mm-mm. -mm. Sorry, one second. In the distance, he spotted um, he spotted an abandoned raft on the riverbank. Look, a raft. Look over there, another raft. Why would someone abandon a raft like that? Maybe they crashed. Let's see why they could have crashed in it. Look out! All of a sudden, Volfen spotted a sharp rock jutting out of the water. He scrambled uh, desperately for something with which to steer the boat with. Before he could act, the raft was smashed into the rock and tossed its crew into the water. Well, we know why he got stuck, or they got stuck there. That was a close one. Everyone okay? Been in worse? Uh, the raft's in pretty bad shape. If we had the right materials, we might be able to fix it up. Should be a lumber yard around here somewhere. Oh, it's the same. We haven't. Okay. Gotta re get to the lumber yard. I didn't realize it was multi stage like that. Okay. Mm. Burn that move on. Mmm, we could go to the fairy ring, yeah. Additional properties? Ew. Oh, it would be covering this nonsense, wouldn't it? Why couldn't it have been the bandits? I guess I could firebomb them. Mmm. would be a mercy you'll too damage to all we don't want to kill him mm. you want to kill him because he does one group damage so everybody's damage up by one he's still gonna do that one damage to everybody which is obnoxious Oh no, he's, he was stunned. He can't use his skill when he's stunned. Okay, that's actually fine. Can he use his skill when he's stunned? He can still use the death one, can't he? Yeah, he can still sure. use the death one, but the other ones he cannot. And when you kill infected, they don't go into the graveyard sector. Wild honey. Bandit camp.
bandits. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Mm. Oh, we can use him? Lumberjack took his axe and began to chop wood, swinging for, uh, with forced precision. No time at all, he helped repair the raft into its former glory. Uh, such it was. The group thanked him and warmly prepared to move on. Well, thanked him warmly and prepared to move on. With the repairs completed, the party was in track, uh, was able to get back on track. As they floated down the river, they spotted a structure on the on the banks. A small, band, uh, a small abandoned fisherman's shack. It looked like it's been vacated in a hurry. Could be a good spot to go on foot. Seems like we can follow this part of the river all the way uh, to uh, Kakibara. Could take our chances in the forest from here. Think it's safe? I don't know how long the raft's going to hold together. Who knows what's waiting for us on the road? Foreman said that all the bandits were on the river. They're probably infecting the forest. One thing for sure, it's no good just waiting around here. Um, I have to make a decision and deal with the consequences. Again, next region. Ugh. Right, health wise. Hmm. Down the river, through the forest. I think I'd rather deal with bandits. That's what I keep saying, because of the whole morale thing. The raft crawled, uh, yeah, crawled down the river, wood creaking under the weight of the passengers. Shadowy figures fi uh, flitted between the trees along the shore. Bandits were waiting for the moment to strike. Believe for me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm kind of glad we got those explosives. He told you. Who knows, might have come in handy. What explosives? Are you talking about my firebomb? Suddenly, the sound, uh, there was a sound of... Uh, there was a creaking sound. Then a deafening crash as a tree fell into the river, blocking the, uh, the path of the raft. Uh-oh. Roadblock. It's a trap! Well, I mean, river block. An ambush. Watch your backs. Oh, I have to fight these guys. Sup? Mm. Time for talk is over. Six fame. Um. Volpan was cultivated. Be grim to get rid of him. Boy image. I'll get rid of one in total. Well, let's get rid of him. It's good to get one's name out there from time. He can't do that with the freaking undead or the infected. Guess they picked the wrong raft. Everybody okay? Can't see any more of them. We should be safe for now. Giants peeled. We're going to need to clear the river of obstacles. It's supposed to clear the path. I reckon some of these bandits will be carrying fire bombs if we're running low. Okay. Ah, bandits. Lovely. Lovely. Mmm. Alright, one stand back. Maybe cover your ears too. Good thing you kept a hold of this. Dynamite threw through the air and lodged right between two of the branches. It hissed for a moment before. Well, it looks like the coast is clear. Not bad at all. Well then, on we go. Was, was that it? Mmm. Some throwing knives. Yoink. Play the nuts. Mm. 
kind of hoping to find some food. Oh no, we can spend two food. Okay. Lose two health if we don't eat. Spend two food. Come on, break time's over. All right. Now we head on to the next area. <sighs> Meeting with Timothy. Oh, him. Molpan made it down the river, uh, River, and arrived the meeting point. Perhaps Timothy could finally give uh, Volpan some answers, or maybe he'll just swoosh his cape and disappear again. Come on! We think because the capybara, uh, Timothy should be around here somewhere. You sure he's still around? We didn't make himself too hard to find. That is, if he's still here. Oh no, the cops. Hmm, don't have the item to track with that. Healing bomb. The corrupted berries. Enjoying a healing bomb from him. Or we can just spend. I thought I had a healing bomb that I could use on him. No? Hmm. Ah, let's just join a healing bomb then. Oh, two lore guys. Okay, we can actually deal with them. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, you're doing them a favor. Don't I have the group stun? I don't. Mm. I mean, we do enough damage. Return to the void. Everybody got a point of damage, it's alright. If we'd had the smoke bomb thing, it would have been better. Um. You. Healing plants and food, that's what I wanted to use. Food. Do I want more food? Oh, let's get some more food. Well, you won't go hungry for a while. Timothy. Been expecting down by the river bank. Ah, Volpine. So you finally decided to show up. Waited for uh, as long as I could at the Holy Grove. Uh, had a lot on my plate lately. Yes, well, I can imagine. Now, my life, you'd be so kind. Hmm, there must be something I can interact with this. Mm -mm. You know, Point five. You might be persuaded to give up the chase. For the right price. Make him leave. Mm. And now make the other one go as well. Fans of yours, eh? Let me guess a tavern. This nose never lies. The nose knows. Edla. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's get some money. Very juicy. Take this, but stay but keep it between us, okay? I suppose the gold could prove useful. Plants of food. Yeah, fine news, but hunter. Alright, let's heal up. Get some cards back. I don't know what's gonna happen when we do this, so. Come on, chop chop. Let's get back to it, shall we? Help him reduce the liar from his back and hand it to Timothy. The leper turned it over in his hand and smiled contentedly. But then a gloomy expression came over his face and he gazed off towards the iceberg. He watched the smoke rise in the sky and sighed heavily. Dreadful shame about iceberg. Wait, you mean there's nothing we can do? You had the visions, haven't you? You've seen what happens. But I thought we could change things. Oh, some things, yes. Others, not so much. Iceberg is very much in the latter category. Oh. Uh, but if it makes you feel any better, across all the innumerable realities splintering off into the infinity through the time and space, there's an infinitesimal but insignificant chance that there's only one reality in which everything is absolutely fine in Eisenberg. Paul Payne's entire body sank hopelessly. You don't seem comforted. Did I say something wrong? Um, you haven't gotten much experience consoling people, have you? So what now? Well, the good news is there's plenty for you to do in Capybara. For me to do? What about you? I have some business of my own that I must attend to in town. But worry not. All of you will be revealed in due course. Come on now, chop chop. Ah. Victory! Oh my word. Oh, story's interesting, not gonna lie. Mm. I wonder if he gets- oh wait, he's with us now? Ah, there's the beautiful city of Capybara. Now, don't get too comfortable. We're only here to make a preparation for our voyage. Voyage? Yes, on the high seas. Uh, now, of course, we need a um. Now, of course, we'll need a captain for this voyage. Don't worry, I have a perfect candidate in mind. Why do I get a fee and there's a catch? I don't know. Maybe there's some visions you've been having. But yes, you're right. There is one teeny weeny complication. He's a pirate. Great. And she's currently awaiting trial for murder. Yep. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of captain. But anyway, can't stand around talking. Uh, we'll meet again once you've convinced her to sail with us. Oh, you're not staying with us. Ah, uh, I thought I got you a good person. Well, we know what to do. Get into the city, find this captain. It sounds too easy. Uh, I'm just gonna glad I'm back on my own stomping ground. They okay. Say you can never go home again, and this is especially true when your home burns down after a rabid beast infestation brought on by an ancient curse. Oh, that's what they did. This was the situation in which Volpan now found himself as he gazed at the smoldering ruins of Eisenberg in the distance. If Volpan was going to get to the bottom of those haunting visions, the mysterious liar, or the plague ravaging the realm, he'd need to keep playing along with the old leper, okay. Timothy, who certainly seemed like he knew more than he was letting on. That meant traveling to Capybara to help Timothy prepare oh, for a Capybara. voyage, the details of which How were, did I not realize that? a little hazy. Which would be simple enough, one might think, were it not for a band of pirates named the Sanguinaires who laid siege to the harbor. And let's not forget the horde of ravenous beasts en route from Eisenberg. All of which should make for an interesting visit to the capital. I kind of wish that that had been accompanied by some of the cool like uh, visuals that they got. Sounds like a captain is hot in hot water. 
on trial for murder. It's a really uh, is that really kind of person we want to be associating with? Sounds like the perfect fit for this crew, if you ask me. We don't know the full story yet. There could be more to this case than meets the eye. And if Timothy says she's the best around, then uh, we, we must have his reasons. I suppose the least we could do is to get a bottom of things. Hanged in one turn. Yeah, the visions. You okay, Volpan? See someone being executed. Is that the captain? Uh, why did they execute a captain? We we'll figure out the details. We'll meet. They're on trial for murder. It's kind of not difficult to figure it out. Oh. Gods. Seas of Capybara. What? The pirates? Looks like some kind of siege. Stop your whining. Pirates aren't so tough. They're just, uh... Oh, that's just your typical, is that's just typical isn't it? As if the Capybara wasn't bad enough. Okay, so a card down here went away. I'm wondering if that's from our choice of going... Hmm... Through the uh, what's called the river, not the forest. I don't know if that affected it, but anyway, that's actually what we're going to call it for here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream, whether it be this or uh, ten ten from earlier. Everything I do gets uploaded onto YouTube, so feel free to go there. Link in the chat. Uh, let's see if there's someone live at the moment. I can send you boys and girls onto. Mm -mm. Who we got? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to send you guys over to Critical Hits Live. They're currently doing a charity stream. It's a great group of people. They're currently playing some Jackbox TV. So if that's something you enjoy, feel free to come along this itty bitty raid. But yeah, back tomorrow. Until then, take care. Love your faces. And I'll see you boys and girls next time. Bye bye.